Hello Gitsby Babes, welcome back to my channel. So we're continuing our color series on this unit. This wig was currently natural black and I changed it to this ginger spice color. If you want to see how I transformed this unit to this color, you can click on the video right up there and it's also on my channel so the only product i'm going to be using is gifty hair repair serum our hair repair serum is good for wigs and extensions it's basically made for wigs and extensions um it gives your hair a long lasting shine without the oily feeling it also protects your hair from heat and it kills the frizz that would be standing on top of your hair so those are the benefits of using our gifty hair repair serum right now i am just lathering that all over the hair and then i'm going to blow dry it i blow dry um the hair on hot very hot um the hot as possible because I do use the um I do use the heat protectant so my hair is safe and it's gonna withstand the heat by using the gifty hair repair serum I'm blow drying the hair just to make sure that there is no water because I am going to curl this unit this wig is 22 inches um, it is virgin hair Malaysian body wave hair um, the best thing for you to do with this kind of hair, if you get your extensions from Gifty.com, after you wear it for a while is to wash the hair. Before applying any heat or applying any styling to the hair, always have your hair freshly clean and washed. After that, you want to dry it up using the blow dryer or you can let it air dry. And then now if you're about to start styling the hair, you want to use a heat protectant. So before even getting to the heat protectant step, your hair should be clean before proceeding to styling it. Just how to get that in. So now I am currently styling the hair. Don't worry, I'm going to give you guys a very in-depth detail on how to curl. This is how the curl is going to look. This is the beautiful um, ginger spice color that I did. To achieve this color, I used um, box dye. You can check out that entire video. And now we're going to begin our detail curling. So to begin, you want to start at the bottom of the hair. You want to make sure you separate the hair into medium sections and have a rat tail comb handy. You're going to put the hair in between the um, curling wand, clip it down, and then rotate your hand backwards in a rotating motion so that you're able to get the hair curly. Once the hair is curly, you want to place it into your hand, hold it there for at least two seconds, and then drop it down. That is so that the curls are able to withstand and be held for a long time. So this um, motion, you're going to be repeating it over and over. You're going to put the curling, the hair piece through the curling wand like that you're going to slide it down the shaft of the hair and then you're going to rotate it back into a rotating motion and then release it into your hand then you drop it and then we do that again you're going to repeat it over and over you take a medium piece of hair you put the hair through the curling wand you hold a piece of the hair ends in your opposite hand that the wand is not in and then you rotate it back until you completely eat up all the hair in the curling wand hold it in your hand for at least two seconds then release it you repeat that step over and over you take your comb take the piece of hair slide it through the curling wand hold a piece of the hair in the opposite hand as a guide and then you're going to place the wand in a rotating motion until you eat up all the hair throughout the curl. Then you're going to drop that curl into your hand, hold it there for two seconds, and release it. Repeat the step again. Put the hair inside of the wand. Rotate your hand while holding that piece to make sure you have a guideline so that everything doesn't go all over the place. Rotate slowly until you drop it into your hand and then release. You want to hold it for at least two to three seconds and then you release. You're repeating the step throughout the entire hair. It's nothing different. All you do is take your comb, 
you comb it to make sure there is no knots tangled in the hair. Never um, straighten, curl your hair if there is knots, do it. So take your rat tail comb, gently taking out all the knots, separate it into a medium size, attach the hair into the curling barrel, keep a piece in your opposite hand that the curler is not in, Rotate it until you eat up all the hair in the curler and then place it in your hand. Then you drop it after two seconds. You pick up the hair, you comb the hair, you take the barrel, you place the hair through the barrel, you hold a piece of the hair in your opposite hand as a guide, and then you rotate the hand that you're using um, the curler in in a rotating motion until you eat all of the hair up and then you hold in your hand a couple seconds then you release it you comb the hair you take the hair and then you place it in the barrel at the front part you rotate it in the hand that the curler is in in a rotating circular motion slowly then you take the opposite hand that does not have the curler and you use that to hold the opposite piece and then you release after two seconds you have to hold and release because you want the hair and the heat to stay together just so that everything is going to be long lasting. And if you keep doing that motion over and over, these are the curls you're going to end up with. And that is how you curl Gifty Human Hair Color Extensions. It's a simple process. You must use our heat protectant. Then you're going to take a rat tail comb. You're going to comb the hair, take the hair itself, the piece of hair, a medium piece of hair, put it through the barrel. I'm using the um, Baby Blitz barrel. Then you're going to hold it in your hand for at least two to three seconds. Then you release it. And there you go. You have your beautiful, bouncy body wave curls. So now to give this curl some dimension, to give it some life and some volume, you have to add layers into it. As you can see, this side has no layers. It's flat. It doesn't have no body, no bounce. So what I'm doing, I'm just adding some simple layers, nothing too dramatic because I want to keep the length of the hair. All I want to add is just some body on the top. So I'm using my um, my shears and I'm just cutting through some layers. If you would like to learn how to cut layers in detail, comment down below. I can teach you guys that one as well. If you found this curling video um, helpful, please let me know. I would like some feedback. I love making you guys these hair tutorials. Again, my name is Gifty Parker. I am the gift to your hair. On this channel, I'm going to be teaching you all about beauty business and branding so beauty is the hair aspect business entrepreneurship how do you run a business and then branding is just all about yourself understanding yourself self-love and self-development so if you like those topics stay tuned like and subscribe like i said i'm just adding layers into the hair right now just to give it some you know body and some more flavor but that is our video I'm going to run over the steps that I did just so you understand. To begin, you have to use a heat protectant onto the hair after you wash the hair and let it blow dry. Then you're going to take a rat tail comb um, and comb the hair before you press it out or before you use your hot tool. You take a little piece, a medium piece, add it onto the um, curler. Have the other hand holding an extra piece of the hair and then you're rotating the hand that you have the curler in in a rotating or circular motion until you get to the end. Once you get to the end, all the hair have been through the curler and you're going to hold in your hands for a couple seconds, one to two seconds and then boom, you're going to drop it down. Then you're done with that one piece of hair. You repeat the whole thing over and over. All I'm doing right now is I'm just flattening the top part down of my hair. I use a hot comb and I use a razor to cut the layers through a little bit more. Um, and then I'm going to curl the top part and pin it. So that is the full look of this. You will need a hot comb to you know flatten the top part down. 
and just to make sure everything is laid and flat you need a hot comb you can purchase your hot comb at gifty.com it is going to be under our feminine paradise category where you can find beauty products hot combs hair care and stuff like that so that's what i'm doing right now i am combing the, i'm brushing the hair I am cutting the layers using the sh um, the shears. I stop using the scissors when I get to the front part because I want the front to be cut very smoothly. I want it to not take away the length of the hair. I just wanted to add just some body right on top of the hair. And then I do clip it using a um, clip. <laughs> this is a regular um just a regular clip just to make sure that the hair stays in place and that the curl especially the front curls last a long period of time and this is the end of the video this is like the finished look of the curls i'm just showing you guys how everything looks um i do go over using my hot comb multiple times because i want the front to be really really laid but thank you so much for watching